My name is Dylan Justin, and I am a YouTuber. I also work on video lighting and production. A thumbnail photo is a photo that when someone is looking on something like YouTube or social media, it is the first thing that kind of catches the attention of the viewer. Without the thumbnail, it doesn't really give any sort of background context to what the viewer is looking at, and it's really helpful in the social media marketing world so that anyone can immediately just see your content and be like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. The main reason for choosing a capturing thumbnail is if you don't have a reason for people to look at your content and your work, there's no point in really making it. It's kind of like having the world's best book but only a white cover. So it kind of gives you that, that draw in detail that you need to say, hey, this is actually really important for me as you know someone who's making it, but also really important for the viewer to be like, hey, that's really intriguing or enticing. I really want to look at this product or have this product or learn a little bit more about what this person's trying to tell me. My process when capturing a thumbnail is having a lot of relevance to what I'm making in the video. So for example, say you're making a video about a car, but for like the beginning majority part of it, you're talking for some reason about like a bicycle. Two very, very different topics. So your thumbnail is really the intro into what the conversation starter is going to be. And you should really build from that. So example, if you are trying to talk about thumbnails, the vast majority of what I should be talking about is like, I should come in and be like, hey guys, today we're talking about thumbnails. We're talking about how to make thumbnails, making quality thumbnails. That's really coinciding with what you're wanting your audience to view. So, you know, talking about kitchenware. Uh, hey guys, today we're looking at this pan from this company or, you know, it just anything in general. If you are really relevant to what you're trying to make your, your content about, that's gonna be really, really crucial in making a good quality thumbnail because it immediately ties directly into what you're trying to produce, whether it's in photos, video, anything social media related, it allows your audience to be like, I know exactly what I'm getting. Some of the things that I see that are really bad examples of thumbnails is things that make no sense or when the thumbnail doesn't really draw you into like the video. Even like the very beginning of your, your video or your production, if you're showing a whole bunch of different other things, technically your thumbnail has lost its value as well. So if you're doing a skateboard brand, but for some reason you come out with like Nike sneakers, that's not really what people are looking at. They wanna see like the wheels or the trucks, or if you're cooking in a specific pan, you wanna see the logo of the pan. So the thumbnail really needs to tie into what you're trying to sell to the people you're working with. Some other bad things that I see when people are making thumbnails, there's a whole bunch of things in the frame. Going back to a cooking pan, if you're showing the sauces, a a cool loaf of bread, all these things that don't really relate to the pan, it's really gonna lose the attention of your audience. So really kind of narrow it down to say, this is what we should be focusing on and we don't really wanna care about anything else after that. What really helps stand out for a specific thumbnail or even thumbnails I see you know, from other content creators is the thumbnail matches the same person continuously. A famous person to look up on YouTube that does your review of cameras or lighting or things that like I'm interested in, one of the things that he always has is he's known for having a purple background. His name's Gerald Undone. I mean, if you go and look up a camera review or a lighting view, if you see a thumbnail that has a purple background behind it, without even looking at who made it, I can tell you that it's that person. So I think what does really well is you wanna make sure that your content is very visible and it's unique to you. If you're selling pants, you know, the way that you make your themes look, it kind of all has to correlate and you don't wanna have something bright and poppy over here and then something, you know, a little bit more matte toned or something else. It kind of needs to have that good 
consistency. So that's one thing that I've kind of stuck with is if it looks like this in one, I wanna try and keep it the same way in the next thumbnail, just so it creates more traction for you because that's what you're really looking for is more traction to your work, not really how good the thumbnail is. And the more that you can get out there, the more your product is gonna be seen. When thinking about making a thumbnail and in regards to lighting with it, um, kind of like this, we have a whole bunch of different lights all over the place. And if we didn't play around with the lights to make it look as good as possible, I would look very flat, I look very dull. I wouldn't have looked very professional. Um, if we're going from a professional standpoint, the more you look like a quality person or item or something like that, at the end of the day, the more professionalism you put into it and the more work with lighting to make it, you know, not super harsh shadows or if you're wanting to that, always have that. It just comes down to what you're trying to sell. If you're trying to sell, going back to kitchenware, if you're trying to make it look like a spring day or something like that, you're not gonna have dark colors or lots of blues. You're gonna have a lot more warmth. You're gonna have a lot more, you know, it kind of comes down to that theme of what you want but you have to be very deliberate with your lighting because if not, you're gonna lose interest in people, but then you're also gonna lose the aspect of what you're trying to get your message across.